All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakwadash, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the Hopefully Lake. And today, this message is going to be titled, Welcome to World War III. After this article, you know, that um, has been revealed unto me through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shem al -Shai. You know, I'm going to go into this article, but I'm going to start right here in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? You see, it said the disciples came unto Yahweh privately, asking him what's going to be, you know, um, signs of his coming and the end of the world. And not the end of the, uh, the word itself, but the end of an age. The end of the uh, the rulership of Esau, Edom, you see, and we're inquiring of these the same things, and the Lord He's going to give a list um, of signs to be looking forward to. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Anointed, Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And you see that, by the way, of all these false leaders, Nate, uh, that nigga Gorilla Hebrew, uh, Billy Goat Jephthah from one body in uh, whatever, in down there in Texas. You see they, they, uh, Nate them saying that the mark of the beast is spiritual. You got Gorilla Hebrew saying we shouldn't worship Yahweh Shai and that Paul writings don't matter. And now, and now he's saying that... Um, Zechariah 13 and 8. That's not talking about America. You see? The nigga Billy Go Jeff is talking about how the uh, Lord ain't going to do no miracles. All these are many coming in the name and deceiving many. And that's how we know we're in the end times, man. They tell you, in the end times, there shall be mockers. And when you go into the word mockers, they would have brought out a one of the words is scoffers, man. They scoffing, they mocking. A uh, false doctrines, man. That's how you know we're in the end times. And we see all these things taking place now. But this is the point right here. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And you and we hearing of wars and rumors of wars. You got the war of Russia versus Ukraine. The rumors of war of uh, China versus Taiwan. You have um, Israelis, those small hats over there. Those kites versus um, Gaza. You see? And you got America back in um, uh, Taiwan, America back in um, those Israelis, and America back in uh, Ukraine. You see? And it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, it's a must that all these things take place. He said, But the end is not yet. Because guess what? The mark of the beast has to be implemented which is that RFID microchip that the so-called white boy, Esau Edom, is going to make mandatory for you to buy, sell, and trade, which is going to stick inside you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans' bodies, man. And if you take it, you're going to get melted here in World War III, you see? And all you heathens here as well. He says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, like all these different nations and kingdom I just named. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And we see all these things taking place. Famine is a shortage on everything. It's a recall on everything. You see? Pestilence. You say they had the, uh, the CVID. And, the, and it, it didn't morph into different other CVIDs. You got the, um, the monkey. The monkey ass, like the brother called it. You got uh, the bird flu now, all these different pestilence in the food, and then you people, man, and earthquakes in diverse places. There's a new earthquake everywhere, and when you go into the word earthquake, it tell you a tempest. So, and the Lord, he just had a great uh, tempest hit Dubai, flooded it. You see, 
You say, all these are the beginning of sorrows. These are the signs that we're in the end time and our Lord Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. Wars and rumors of war. And I had this article right here. It says, welcome to World War III. It says, the Western led rules based order is fraying, but nothing seems to be emerging that might replace it. It says, a local. A local woman rides a bicycle on April 18th, 2024, in front of a building destroyed by a Russian airstrike in the front line town of or Salaki, or Rikiv, Ukraine. You see? And it says, just to read, just a quick read, it says a Russian foreign policy expert, Fyodor. Lukai, Lukainov stated that stated the other day in Beijing that World War Three has already begun. You see, a, and the Apostle Ellis been already saying this. Hey, we're at war. You see this. You got all these different countries bombing each other. You see, it just hasn't been made official, and America just hasn't um, officially uh, sent the troops out, man. Hey, they but they're dispersing. They sending troops. To uh, West Asia, which is known as the Middle East, over there in uh, 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 Israel, you see, they got uh, ships in the Red Sea. They just it just hasn't been officially uh, stated that we're in war. You see, it says he argued that instead of one global conflict that would quickly escalate toward nuclear war, this world war is being fought in the form of a chain of regional conflicts. And you see, and you see that. Like like I was just saying, you got uh, Ukraine uh, versus Russia, and you got America back in Russia, which is causing problems with the Americans. And the, I mean, you got America back in Ukraine, which is causing problems with America and Russia. You got uh, North Korea and South Korea and America back in South Korea, which is causing conflict between America and North Korea. You got uh, China and Taiwan and America is back in Taiwan, which is causing conflict between China and America. You see Israeli and, those, and Gaza. You got America sending bread to uh to those Israelis, which is causing problems with America and Iran and their allies as well, man. That's why it's gonna be a World War Three. It's gonna be the BRICS versus the NATO and EU, man. Uh the BRICS is Brazil, Russia, India, China versus um, you know, the NATO and the EU and all their allies, you see? And it says read that part again, it says he argued that instead of one global conflict that would quickly escalate toward nuclear war, because hey, that's what it that's what it's going to escalate to nuclear war, which is going to wipe America off the face of the earth. This war is being fought in the form of a chain of regional conflicts. He may have a point. It says from the war in Ukraine to the war in Gaza to tensions in the South China Sea, the Taiwan Strait. And the Korean Peninsula, regional conflicts have involved all the great powers, either as combatants or in proxy wars. You see, and this sounds like, hey, they listen to the prophets, man. It says, expect for Russia's invasion of Ukraine and Israel, ghastly war in Gaza, the other regional hotspots have yet to erupt as full-blown conflicts. If they do, the two largest superpowers, China and the United States, could be at war. You see? They're talking about now they talk about China and the US being at war. The two major superpowers, man. Hey, we're just gonna bring in World War Three, man. They say the bad news is that these conflicts are escalating in the face of futile efforts to mediate. And when you go into the word futile, that just means vain efforts, man. Is they having vain efforts to escalate, uh, to mediate and basically to uh, de-escalate the situation? 
that it seems they're not trying to um solve this, man. It's only gonna get worse and worse as the times go on, man. Eventually, America is gonna get bombed. And they tell you that in the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 20 and on down. How uh, those Carmanians are going to waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians, which is a dark sand for America. And it says, after a feeble Ukrainian counteroffense over the summer, Russia is now on the offense in Ukraine. Kyiv's valiant resistance could lose vital support for the U.S., which is tiring of the war. Meanwhile, China is providing more help to Russia. That's their proxy war. Matter of fact, let me get that while I had this. It says, I looked up proxy war. It said proxy war, a military conflict in which one or more third parties directly or indirectly support one or more states or non-state combatants in an effort to influence the conflict's outcome and thereby to advance their own strategic interests or to undermine those of their opponents. And you see that. You got America uh, sending money over there to Ukraine. That's proxy war. You see? Uh, America sending money to uh, those Israelis. That's proxy war. America sending money to Taiwan. That's proxy war. And you got China sending money to Russia. That's proxy war. You see? Which is ultimately going to lead to World War III. Uh, I ain't going to read too much more. It says, meanwhile, Israel's assault on Gaza continues to kill and maiming the people of the besieged territory and the Middle East is on the brink of a wider war, which is World War III. Like the title here says, it's welcome to World War III. You see? And it's soon to come, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab this real quick. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, and verse 8. And it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So the prophets before us prophesied of these same things. And we come in that same stead. You see, in the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. To prophesy and tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent and return back into our powers. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai being His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. That's who you should be praying to. A hey, so when all hell break loose, when Jacob's trouble pop off, a hey, you uh repent and return back to those powers. A hey, Lord willing, they have mercy upon you and your household because that's our hope. That Yahweh by Shema Shah has mercy upon us and deliver us in the times to come. If not, you're gonna die in World War III or um by one of those spirits of vengeance that Yahweh by Shema Shah has created. You see? And like I said, it's prophesied against many countries, and we prophesying against America, telling America that it's through, it's over with, and it's gonna be destroyed by the way of nuclear missiles. And we're telling those Russians. Another uh, country. Hey, that they're going to be the ones that do it. And they still going into slavery. You see, all American allies, they're going to shoot missiles off of over here. And they still going into slavery. You see? It says of war and of evil and of pestilence. Hey, great evils is going to get ready to come to America. Jacob's trouble, great famine, teeth of wild beasts, apparitions. You see? And great pestilence, and you see that the bird flu, the uh, CV-19, and all these other different pestilence that Yahweh Bashim has out here, man. You see? Book of Revelation, chapter 11, and verse uh, 14. And it says, The second war was passed, and behold, the third war was coming quickly. World War I and World War II has passed. And it says, Behold, the, the third war will come quickly. And we see it approaching, man. Fastly. That's why you got these uh, news reporters making articles like this. Welcome to World War Three, And they're breaking it down. What's going on out here, man? And, 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 is, and this is only for the elect. If you're not of the elect, you, you're not going to have eyes to see and ears to hear. 
because this is constantly on the news. And if you can't see this, hey, the Lord don't want you to see it, and you're going to get caught up in the destruction thereof. You see? And it says, the third world come up quickly, and this war will be fought with missiles. You see? Book of Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5, it says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. That's that hand-to-hand -hand combat. You see? Like on 300. You see? Like on uh, the TV series, The Vikings. They show you a good uh, demonstration of that. Demonstration of that. Hand to hand, come at garments, rolled in blood with swords, shields, spears. You see? It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. That's why you got uh, little Kim Jong Un over there showing off the missiles that he got. You got those Russians showing off their Satan 2 nuclear missiles. You see? And, and like on this article, like it says, a local woman rides a bicycle on April 18th, 2024, in front of a building destroyed by a Russian airstrike. You see, burning and fuel of fire. You see? And we're hoping to have at the wild, the mark of exemption. To not get caught up in this, man. That's the point of us a constantly doing lessons, warning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to get the blood off our hands. If you don't want to take heed, Hey, the hell with you. You're going to have to feel the wrath of the Lord, man. And we're hoping that the Lord say, hey, hey good job, hey, uh, my servant. And, and he bless us to be protected in the times to come. You see? Isaiah 9 and 5 again, it says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. And that's how America is going to be taken out of his ruler seat with burning and fuel of fire by the way of those Russians. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, and verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes, which is a dark sand and a parable for the Russians. Against them, talking about who? Babylon, a.k.a. America. It says, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. And they're not going to delight in the silver and gold in the money of America. That's why BRICS has dropped the American dollar and they have made their own currency. You see? It said their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eye shall not spare children. And this is going into the missiles. How they're going to dash the young men into pieces. The same way that um, those e Israelis have been bombing those uh, Palestinians over there. They just bombed them, what, Sunday? Killed 18 children. These same things are going to happen to you Americans. Like the L.R. Rome said, that's a foreshadowing what's to come here. Ezekiel 7 and 5, evils and only evils. That's what we'll warn you of this. Because you can just be scoffing the market. And you can be in the mall one day and the Lord had one of those fucking Ishmaelites, those Arabs come in the mall where you at and blow that shit up, man. Kill your kids and blow off one of your limbs. Those are the evils and only evils set to come here in America, man. And it says in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. Talking about America, the beauty of the Chaldeans' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know how Sodom and Gomorrah was overthrew by the way of fire and brimstone. And America is going to be overthrown by the way of nuclear war. You see? That's why in the article it says it's going to escalate the nuclear war. And the only way to escape from that nuclear war is by the way of so-called UFOs, the chariots of Yahweh by Hashem Shah. That's why we're telling you to repent and return unto your powers and may the Lord have mercy upon you and you will have a ride. You have a seat on the chariot because if not, hey, you're going to receive Zechariah 14 and 12. You're going to be melted off your flesh. But this is the book of Salaki. Book of Revelations chapter 11 and verse 12. And this is the only way that you're going to be a, to uh, escape 
the nuclear destruction. And the elder did a beautiful illustration of that uh, Sunday when he showed the highest mountain and how big the mushroom cloud comes over that mountain. And this is going to be, it says 200 million missile warheads are going to be dropped off over here in America, man. And when those, when those uh, missiles get to touch down, and that's how it look. When the rain drop, hit the ground, it had that splash up, man. Hey, that's what those, that, that strange rain is going to come over here in America, man. But this is the book of um, Revelation chapter 11 and verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. And that's what we're hoping to be a part of, to hear that come up hither. And we be beamed up on those chariots while America is being destroyed by nuclear missiles. And your enemies be beholding you, wondering, like, damn, what's going on? Why, you know, hey, they gonna, hey, they gonna know then, man, that a prophet has been among them, and everything that the prophets of Yahweh by Shema has been saying is true. But it's gonna be too late. That's why we're warning you now to get the blood off our hands, and that you can repent and get the blood off your hands as well. And pray that the Lord pardon you of your sins because that's what we're hoping that the Lord blot out our sins. Those are going to be the ones who, who hear that come up here, hither and ascend up to heaven in a cloud. And it says, And the same hour was there a great earthquake when those missiles hit. It's going to cause a great earthquake. It tell you how it's going to cause the earth to wear to and fro like a drunkard. And the tenth part of the city fell, America, and the earth quake. And so like it says, and in the earthquake were slain of men, 7,000, a com complete number of men. It tell you how two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native, Native Americans are going to die here. But one third is going to be delivered. You see? And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the powers of heaven. And we we're hoping to be of that small remnant to be delivered. You see, because, hey, this is what World War Three has in store, a nuclear destruction for America and the elect to be delivered out of it. And the rest of you niggas going to die here. So, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. I want to end it off by giving our praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learned the truth from. And shalom to the hopefully elect.